Welcome to another Simple Engineering Snippet. In this instructional video, we calculate the support force for an 180 degree elbow. I hope you find it helpful. Pictured is our 180 degree elbow. The inlet and outlet area are both 0.1 feet squared. A good first step is to define the coordinate system and identify the direction of gravity. Now let's define our control volume. In this example, we choose the actual elbow to be the control volume. Next, we label our surfaces with flow. The surface with the inlet flow is labeled as A, the outlet flow surface as B. Now let's define our support force. In this example, we will only be solving for the support force in the X direction. We have assumed, or guessed, that the reaction force is acting in the negative X direction as shown. Next, identify the unit normal outward vectors for surfaces A and B. Next, let's add the velocities, the density, and the pressures at A and B. Note that the velocities are equal, indicating that the density is constant. Provided densities indicate that the flowing fluid is water. Let's start with conservation of momentum. Using the Reynolds Transport Theorem, we see that the sum of the external forces is equal to the two integrals on the right-hand side. Let's simplify for steady state and rewrite it for only the x direction. Note the use of the x component of velocity, u. Now we identify the external forces acting on the control volume. There are three. Two pressure forces, one at surface A and another at surface B. Both of these pressure forces are acting on the control volume in the plus x direction. It is important to select the correct direction for these forces. The support force, Rx, is assumed to act in the negative x direction. Now let's work on the surface integral. We break it down into integration over the two surfaces, A and B. The surface integration over A is shown. The x component of the velocity vector is equal to positive VA. The dot product returns a negative sign since the flow at surface A is an inflow. Doing the same for surface B, but in this case the x component of velocity at B is in the minus x direction. The dot product returns a plus sign since the flow at Bravo is an outflow. The total surface integral is equal to 2 times the density times VA squared times the area. Note that we are using the fact that VA equals VB. Now let's combine all the parts as shown. Remember, we must use gauge pressure, not absolute pressure. Atmospheric pressure exists all around the elbow, so we use gauge pressure so we don't have to try to integrate over those surfaces. Now we can solve for the x component of the reaction force. We plug in the values with units and calculate that Rx is equal to 1,324 pounds force. Note that the result is positive, indicating that our guessed or assumed direction was correct. The final answer is the reaction force is equal to 1,324 pounds force acting in the negative x direction. I hope you found this instructional snippet useful. If so, please like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.